May 10th, 1796. After two days of forced marching, my army has caught the retreating Austrian army at Lodi. This is the time to strike. The Austrian rear guard is separated from the main army and vulnerable until it can reach the safety of the town. General Beaulieu is forced to stay on the battlefield to oversee the Austrian retreat. We must capture or kill the Austrian general and much of his force to end Austrian interests in Northwest Italy. If Beaulieu is removed, the French can pen the Austrians in Lombardy into the fortress at Mantua. I must prevent Beaulieu from escaping the battlefield. Right. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to unlimber our artillery. Our artillery will be vital in order to uh, make sure that the enemy is being suppressed as they retreat. Now, we have two units of light infantry which are going to be advancing quickly here. We also need to be careful about the enemy artillery. We have at least one enemy artillery piece here. We have more artillery pieces here. And we have, well, right over there, the third enemy artillery piece. So we are quite equal in artillery. So no, none of our artillery units is currently in position to actually fire on the other. We are also going to prepare our dragoons for a flanking attack on any separated units of infantry as they advance. Move, move right there. Go. Now. The enemy has taken up positions in the house, however our cannon fire should hopefully be able to compensate for this. We want to have our Jesus engage the enemy grenadiers here. We also have two Landwehr units that I think my Dragoons will be able to ambush quite handsomely. If we can take out these two Landwehr and cause casualties to the German grenadiers, I think we are going to be in a good position to begin with. Excellent. Our Jesus are engaging the enemy and we have started the engagement. Meanwhile, meanwhile the Landwehr are still marching. The cavalry is upon them. It's not necessary for us to kill every single enemy unit. Rather, we just want to break them in such a way that they will not be able to reform. Alright, the cavalry will now be dispatched to engage the Landwehr. As for the Jesus, they'll take up position here. Let's see here, the Lombardy Legion seems to be taking a lot of fire here, but they are also firing upon the Austrian Grenzes. They're also, they're taking cannon fire, we'll have to withdraw them. Looks like their mood drastically improved once they were withdrew, withdrawn from... FIRE! The enemy strong position near the house has been neutralized. And uh, I think we are gonna want our cavalry to reform the forest here. We're gonna see if we can. The enemy grenadiers are heading towards our Jesus. Let's see, where do we have the nearest cavalry unit? We're going to reroute some of the um, cavalry to help our Jesus. Alright, so time to uh, unlimber the guns and dissolve the Grand Battery. Cavalry, take them out. Cease fire. I say again, ceasefire and march towards the hills. 
the Jesus will assist the cavalry in being a flanking force. The enemy grenadiers are elite units. It is probably better just to kill off as many of them as we can. The main enemy force is still in the town though. And the enemy have an artillery emplacement right here. They are unlimbered and ready to fire, and that actually does worry me a bit. As for our own guns, we will be starting a redeployment. This force will be preparing to fire across the river. This force will be preparing to fire into, t into town. Actually, we will make sure we have fire superiority into the town for that reason. Move both batteries to that location. As for the main assault into the town, we are going to have our grenadiers of the line move up. And they will be our main force in terms of engaging the enemy inside the town proper. We're also going to withdraw our dragoons and have them move to a position where they will be inconspicuous, to say the least. I wonder if we can move over the... if we can... yeah, I think we can actually try that. We are gonna be sending our dragoons with haste to that location and see if we can cross the river further up. If we can do that, we have a good way of getting a mobile force in the back of the enemy. Meanwhile, the Jesus will most likely be our best option for skirmishing at this crossing. However, it's going to be tricky with the... Nah. I think we're gonna be placing the Jesus in support of the assault on the town, but they, they can be moving in a more normal speed. Uh, as for the Dragoons, I actually do want you to hurry up a bit. You do have forces after all. I would like you to use the speed and versatility of the horse. Unlimber those guns and prepare to fire. Now, we have a good position on the enemy 12th Liber. I can't, I can't pronounce them. I think it's a 12th pounder. Um, once our guns here are ready, uh, they'll be given instructions to fire on the foot artillery here. The enemy are firmly entrenched in the town. So we do want to keep on firing on the enemy. One volley later and it seems like the enemy foot artillery are running for their lives. The cavalry even managed to uh, find some some escapees, but don't really bother about those. These are very tired, so we'll have to be careful about deploying them into the main fray right now. I do want all these guns destroyed. Unlimber the guns and prepare to move. The next force is ready to go. I would actually like to have this battery start firing on the German fusiliers. It's not it's gonna take a while before that foot artillery battery is yeah, the foot artillery battery is retreating. So we can actually shift, have them shift their fire. Uh, actually belay that. It appears like the town hall is secured by enemy infantry. So we can start with uh, the engagement of the enemy. The Austrian general Beaulieu is leaving the field! Catch him! Capture him! Kill him! He must not be allowed to escape! Copy that, we'll get it done. Fortunately, we do have the forces in position to do this. And most likely the morale effect of 
our forces in their flank them. I don't care that my cavalry are tired right now. We need to get our cavalry in position to block off his escape. Most likely, his scouts have reported that... Oh, the... Looks like the uh, enemy have some sort of cannons in range of... Either that, or that was actually my own cannons. In fact, I suspect that that might have been my own cannon. Well, let's take out... Let's take out the general. Just block off the path, and we're done. As for you, just stand by. Just rest your horses for now. Poor horses are exhausted. These ones are active and encouraged by the local superiority of their forces. So, General, would you like to surrender, or...? This one, this force is the one we are going to be sending in should our Jesus fail. The enemy general is dead. General Beaulieu has been killed on the battlefield. Mop up the remainder of his army to secure victory. La cavalerie attend les ordres, monsieur. Attaque! Very good. We now have a, our cavalry in the rear of the enemy army. We can cut off whatever we like. However, the enemy position in the town is still a very strong one, and currently we do see the... Oh! Jesus, I'm sorry, but you are gonna have to contest that crossing. Go, now. It's not like you had much to do as of late, but I need you to absolutely demolish the enemy as they come, as they cross. Enter skirmish mode. I don't want you to take unnecessary risks here, but I do want you to uh, make sure the enemy. Uh, these ones are still very tired. I do want to commit them to taking out the the enemy foot battery right there. Fire! Right. We'll commit uh, at least one force of cavalry. We are... we don't have all that much time left, really. But that... that battery of guns there is very vulnerable. So we are gonna be taking it out. Unfortunately, not many other of the enemy gunnery positions are that vulnerable. Oh, it looks like the enemy fusiliers are actually moving in to defend defend those guns. Our Jesus are in big trouble. <sighs> I had hoped to not have to make a make a all-out assault on the town, but I don't really see how I have any choice in the matter left. Uh, Fusiliers of the line, move. Actually, form up with the Lombardi Legion. The Lombardi Legion should be ready to engage the enemy Fusiliers as they bear. If the Austrians come to us, then so much the better. No onion for the Austrians. Alright, Lombardi Legion, you'll fire as our other line infantry is coming to a... coming to bear. 
Let's see here. The, what do we have? Yeah, you can try and route the enemy fusiliers if you like. I know you're very tired, but I do use do have the high ground. See if you can route the enemy. Revolutionary infantry. That's just a massive rifle right there. It looks like the cavalry effort there is paying off. And even if it doesn't, the enemy the enemy artillery is actually vulnerable right now. Refuse the line. Yeah. Cavalry, you can move in. Same thing with the fusiliers. Shift to a line and move to that location and take out their guns. I know you are very tired, but taking out those guns will make this incredibly more easy. If the enemy doesn't have any guns, then we can basically just surround the town and engage with Will. Alright, the Lombardi Legion seems to be stupid. So, we are gonna be... The Revolutionary Infantry are basically cannon fodder. We are gonna be sending the counterattack. The enemy seems to be performing a counterattack here. Move. It looks like the enemy have no desire to actually wait for our moves here. Broaden the line, Colonel. The enemy have moved a unit of Grenzes into position. Cavalry, all yours. It doesn't look like the enemy have any sort of infantry units left on this bank. They basically dedicate everything they have into this counterattack. Actually, shift. I know you are going to be taking flanking fire if you do that, but right now that's actually worth it. Because I want you to... Um, I want you to fire at the enemy flank right there. Refuse their entire counterattack. With so much friendly infantry around them, the enemy will be hard pressed to actually fire those guns. The enemy fusiliers are, f are fleeing. We're doing well. And it is a victory. We can end the battle. Paul Yu is the Austrian army. They're nothing without him. Northern Italy is mine.